Good. Okay, and we discussed about, um, I discussed a little ahead of time what we were going to do. And she's had low lights before. And when your hair is really porous, it's going to grab the color. She said that it turned really dark one time she did it. I don't know. What did you use? Uh, the new color for Beth Minardi, uh -huh. which is supposed to be a semi-permanent, but for some reason it's, it's become permanent on my hair. See? Semi-permanent, you know, you got to be very careful too with permanent or semi-permanent because it really grabs porous hair and stays in. So you want to make sure anything you do, you know, I've done where the hair is uh, very white. And if you decide you want to put a brown in to tone it down, make sure you, uh, from my experience, try to use something warm. Because if you use a drab or just some, some types of browns, they end up turning the flat or drab or ash color that's really... And you can't get it out of the hair. You can't go back in and re -weed. We did a strand test, and we're going we're gonna to do something exciting today. We're going to put a little bit more warmth in the hair. And when you're doing it on bleached hair, you're not going to use 20 volume. Why? Can anybody tell me why? 20 or 30? It lifts the color. We're not trying to lift. We're not going to try to lift it. It's already lifted. So if anything, we're going to go lower. Even, you know, you may want to add a little bit of water to the peroxide to water it down because a person's going to say, I like that light color over there, you know, that's really light. And what happens is you do it the color they like and in two washes it's out of their hair. Then what's going to happen? You may have to redo the color. So whenever somebody says, oh, I like, I like uh, that brown, then I'm going to do... A, a little bit darker than that color so after a few shampoos it'll it'll lighten up you know it's gonna lighten after a few shampoos even permanent color now if you're using temporary or semi-permanent it will fade out of the hair so you have to be very careful now um, I want to know where does this client part her hair before I get started usually on the left side on the left side? Mm -hmm. But okay. sometimes in the middle. Sometimes in the middle? <laughs> okay, it's so true. this is, this is the left the side, and this is the middle. So what I want to do is um, make sure, you know, because I've been doing foils for a long time, and you want to know that wherever the part is, so you have color coming in that particular area. Like some people like where it's heavy streaks, so you can see it on both sides, like a line down. Um, I don't know. I discussed, do you want it thick? No. Medium or light? Medium light. Not the color. I'm, you, know, you have to make that very clear. I'm talking about how thick do you want the pieces. Um, do you want them thin? Yes. Okay, she wants thin pieces, so I'm going to do it small. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave out a lot of blonde, because if I weave a lot of, uh, of the uh, thin pieces in the hair, what's going to happen? It's going to turn dark. It's going to turn dark. Okay, so I'm going to section her hair off. Let's say she parts it on the left side. There's her part. You always want to check the client's hair first. So I'm going <coughs> to section it off. Sometimes the color ends up being runny and runs right on, bleeds right onto the scalp. So what I like to use cotton in between. I'm going to do a light auburn with some golden brown and some cinnamon brown. You mix 445 and 5G, half each, and a couple of drops of 4R. 5G, 445. And a couple of drops of 4R. If you, if you do is we're using the Wella color and it's double peroxide. When your uh, client has never done it before and you want your, you're trying to be really cautious, you might add a little water so it'll wash out sooner. Yeah, we could put some water in. We have water. Now you make sure on your client record card 
you write this down because when they come back in and you can't remember what you used on them, that's really too bad. I'm just going to take some small thin sections and I'm going to really space it out. So I get it as close as I can to the hairline, to the scalp. On real light hair, it's probably going to take immediately, but you don't want to take it off of the hair right away. When you have long hair, you have to just paint it back and forth until you get all of the hair into the, into the foil. I know you've seen other methods here. Put a little cotton, and I'm going to work up. Usually I start in the back because when you rinse off, it's a lot easier. I'm taking very little sections. A lot of people like to fold after each foil, and, it, and it's, when you're in a hurry and you've got clients waiting, it's a lot of time that you're spending uh, folding foil. So what I do is just mainly get it, try to get it up immediately. Once I get a whole row, like this whole top section, you'll see what's going to happen. I'm going to fold it in. See now when I, all the sections are done, after I fold it up in, and I just fold them all at once. See how they're coming. Especially when you're doing highlights, because then it takes immediately. Can you see over there? So what I'm going to do is open up a foil. Oh, look at that. See? You can see it's oxidized, getting darker. Can everybody see that? It's looking good. Now her hair is bleached. It's, we could probably say it's ready in the back. I mean, it's going to take right away. And, you, you know, it's not like, well, the, it says 30 minutes on the box. Okay, that's a, an average how much hair color. It's, but when you have porous hair like this, sometimes it will take immediately. Right. From going dark to light? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very common to go to that gold stage. It gets, hair gets stuck in that gold stage mm -hmm. that's a coppery color. And don't, whenever it gets to that and you're bleaching it, don't try to do it all at once. It's better to, you know, wait a day, give the hair a rest, and then lift it the next day. It'll come up immediately. Because to try to go from really dark to really light is going to damage the hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did that answer it? Hair, dark hair will always get stuck in that, that uh, stage. Now, some people have their hair dyed black. They go from bleach to black. You always want to know if someone's bleached their hair before they put the dark color in, because if you go in and highlight it, what's going to happen? You're going to have breakage. Now, if I did this color too light and didn't add those couple uh, caps of the dark in it, what's going to happen? She's going to have the orangish color in her hair. It's going to be really orange looking. Because if you do too light on bleached hair, it just you either get a, a light orange or pink. So you have to kind of mix the color so you get different a different tone. Okay. Let's see if any of the top is done. Now, we, when you're doing this, you don't need to put them under heat to speed it up or anything. This is just tint. We're actually just trying to just deposit color in the hair. I'll do the shampoo. Oh, that's good. There might be a clip in there. Here, let me just rinse it really quick. Okay. 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 
The easiest way to get the tangles out is start at the ends and work your way up. Because if you start up here and go down, the comb and brush is going to get caught in the hair. Start underneath. Take little sections so you're not hurting the client. You work your way up, starting on the bottom, and it's going to be so much easier. Don't try to tackle the hair all at once. You know, I, I grab the hair so I'm not pulling their scalp. I hold it like this because sometimes when you pull, it hurts. You know how especially long hair, so I try to keep it from hurting her scalp, and I'm working with the ends because I hear it snagging. And then you keep going over it. Just makes it, gives it give the hair a different tone. The more you do, the more it's going to tone down the blonde. Remember that. Yeah, I wanted that. I didn't want a big, big straight. Not me. No, it looks really subtle. This is really going to speed up your drying process. We call them in the old days or sing, uh, single bill clips or double prong clips. Anything you have, I'm going to take the round brush and what I'm going to do is just, this will be like hot rolling in here. You don't have hot rollers? <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> oh, yes. I might. So we'll just. 